so I'm on my way to um, Tyson's Corner to meet the girls for lunch and maybe do a little shopping. Um, also, <clears throat> um, oh, you're listening to Wicked soundtrack right now. I just love, 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 love listening to it. I'm actually gonna go um, in March again to watch it. Um, but yeah, I'll try see if I could film as much as I can um, when I'm there. She who's in some, she wins in Gold hair with a gentle curl Something has changed within me Something is not the same I'm through with playing by the rules of someone else's game Too late for second guessing too late to want to sleep It's time to trust my instincts Close my eyes And leap It's time to try to find gravity I think I'll try to find gravity And you won't pull me Everyone. So I am in the parking lot. I'm actually a few minutes early. Um, in a few minutes, I'm going to go and walk in and meet the girls for lunch. So I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, still freaking freezing. Um, I can't wait until next. Oh, actually, March is tomorrow, so I can't wait until spring. It actually doesn't take me long to come here. Um, I left at 12.10, I was like 20 minutes, I got here within 20 minutes, so it's not that bad, I guess traffic wasn't that bad. So now I'm trying to find where Golden Beach is. So I'm here, hanging over to Golden Beach. And now I see Lisa. cheese and bacon trying to be healthy because what fun is that <laughs> don't understand that and then Lisa that. has a spinach salad and with the dressing and the bacon and the cheese the and anything and they'll give oh yeah my dressing is on the side and then Nat has the ahi tuna salad that only looks 400 calories 400 calories well how much is mine <laughs> you got really? avocado and egg honey yeah. I hate to do it. oh but avocado is healthy I agree but I'm You're saying they still count it as fat it's like 800 Fine. Okay, I wasn't eating as healthy as I thought. <laughs> so I just finished my salad. Um, yeah, we're not having dessert, and then we're gonna go shopping soon. So. I wanted dessert. So we're at Sephora, and I've never heard of the Torina Tarantino. That's what happens when you're on the ten pan. You try to avoid Sephora, but you know, like I said, I'm gonna shorten mine to five pan. It's just like easier. But it's really pretty packaging, actually. Oh my god. Got a lot of bling. <laughs> but not sure about the color payoff, so this is called Pav or Pave. Ooh. It's very glittery. So she is known for her jewelry. Um so yeah, this is her jewelry I guess that she's wearing. Here, watch the shimmer dust, ready? Oh, oh, oh. Did you get it? No, I don't think it's on cotton camera. Yeah, the packaging is definitely really cute. And look at this. It's a red kabuki brush. I know. I remember uh, Michelle Phan had, like, in her makeup line or when she was developing her brushes, that she had like a red. Uh, I guess this is more bright pink. That's well, pretty cute. So Lisa's no, testing out the Yves Saint Laurent. Oh, <laughs> what's up, man? Hi, camera. Um, the it's new foundation. Dark. One's too light, so one's too one's dark. Too dark, one's too light. Them. Right yeah, now like we don't have buy a good match. <laughs> Definitely love, love, love the Rouge Volute lipstick. I currently have um, number one. 
which is nude beige, sensual silk, which I don't see here, um, and tender peach, which I don't see here, but it's definitely very moisturizing. I would definitely recommend these. And here is Urban Decay's Eden Primer Potion. Um, it's the same thing, it's $18. And this one actually has more of a color base when you apply and keeps your um, eyeshadows on. A lot of people kind of compare it to um, MAC Soft Ochre. New Benefit Shadows. Velvety, velvet velvet eyeshadows. Eyeshadows palette. Smooth, Very smooth. Try to open one in one handed. Here, I got one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Pretty good color payoff too. I like the shimmers falling over me. Yeah, but it's not like not overly shimmer. It's not like it's, it's not like glitter. Yeah, it's just like a shimmer. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Hmm. Eighteen dollars. This is that new eye primer too. It's called Stay oh. Put Makeup All Day Eye Primer. It's for concealer and for shadow. Okay, look, I can't even figure out how to open it. There. Oh, it's a pump. <laughs> oh, it's a pump. Interesting. Of course, they don't have any of that either because this store is out of everything. Yeah, for some reason, this store doesn't have a lot of stuff in stock. I wonder why. I would have got a haul for everyone, but no. <laughs> Lisa had a list of a huge haul coming up, but nothing here yet. So I'm here at MAC, and I've been hearing about this delightful skincare from Gina, and I really, really want to try the delightful the Deep Ocean Moisture Cream, but they're sold out. Pick up the essence and there's the lightful softening lotion, but I hear that's not as good as the moisture cream. So I'm gonna pick some up. So I'm at HM trying on some clothes, um, and this is actually my outfit of the day. I have this dress from Zipia, belt from Forever 21, and this um, cardigan from Forever 21 as well as this um, necklace from Forever 21. Tights, I think it's Forever 21, and my boots is from Steve Madden. I'm actually going to try a few things on, so... So I'm at Papaya. Um, it's like a store in Texas. And I just want to go through like what I normally look at when I look at a piece of clothing. Um, something like this here, I wouldn't want to get because of this vest. Anytime that anything is attached, then it's something that I wouldn't get because, you know, you can't really um, take it apart to wear it with something else, you know? Um, if this was by itself, then I probably would get it. But yeah, um, also a tip, whenever you see any type of like blemishes on clothing, um, but if it's something that you can live with, then you can actually go to the counter and ask for and like see if they could give you any percentage off. Normally they'll give you at least 10% off, like maybe something like, you know, it's very small, something like that. Um, it's like a snag. They'll normally give you 10% off, but then it's just like um, all sales are final, which is fine, especially you know if it's something that you would wear all the time. So that's just a little tip. Now this is really cute. Um, it's like a ruffle, asymmetrical type of blouse. Um, this is something that I would get like a, an accent piece that um, will probably go out of style like you know the next season um, but you know it's only $19.99 so it's not that bad um, something that after you wear and everything you can easily donate to Goodwill this is a type of material that also has mesh underneath it's really cute but it doesn't have my size I'm a size small normally or extra small depending on the type of um, style but yeah, it's cute. Now this is a vest, which is a crochet material. And something about this, like I don't really like crochet stuff because it reminds me of like, you know, someone's grandma like making this together. And for $19.99 for like a vest that is like barely anything, you know, I don't know. It's not worth the money. Um, Something like this I wouldn't want to get, plus this will definitely go out of style very fast. So I'm back in the car, I'm ready to get back, um, and I have some dinner plans tonight as well. 
But I uh, had fun with the girls. Um, went some, did some shopping. Went to Mac, Sephora, but Sephora didn't have anything in stock, so that was hard to get something, anyways. And um, I went to Forever 21, but I didn't see anything there. And then off to H&M, and I got a few things there. Um, and then our last stop was Urban Out Outfitter, and I didn't see anything there. So, yeah, so this was fun. Um, I will probably do like a collective haul once I have a few things actually coming in. So, until then, I'll talk to you later. Bye!